cut their own throat. Foolish Meghan and Harry got terrible karma after axing ties to royalty. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry's efforts to establish a new, separate brand for themselves away from the royal family were thwarted by big international headlines as they distanced themselves from the firm, a royal family branding expert has said. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex cut ties and moved away to Meghan's home state of California in March 2020. Saleh Ottens, a professor of marketing specializing in how the royal family brands itself, told that events coinciding with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's departure from the royal family stole the limelight away from their rebranding opportunities away from the firm. She said, Meghan and Harry had the rug pulled out from under them by Covid, with their attempt to try to build their brand here. Covid really yanked the headlines away. In the UK, the initial coronavirus lockdown came into force on March 23, 2020, and March 31 marked the Duke and Duchess's official exit from royal life, with a year-long transitional period. Professor Ottens, co-author of Royal Fever, added now, Russia is yanking the headlines away. China is yanking headlines away. With these continuing international crises occupying headline space, Professor Ottens said the Queen's Platinum Jubilee also confused the rebranding campaign the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would have wanted to forge ahead with. She said, in Britain, because the celebrations are happening there and they're starting now for the big jubilee, it's more salient. She then described how they could not truly capitalize on their separation from the royal family because of how their behavior was seen in America. She said of Megxit, I think their actions were perceived as individual, self-centered actions. Part of the issue with their branding, she claimed, was the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had not grasped the source of their popularity when they were part of the royal family, and therefore had difficulty carving out a new brand in the US. Meghan, 40, saw her popularity dip in opinion polls in the wake of the Duke and Duchess's relocation across the Atlantic as they severed ties with the firm. Professor Ottens commented, Meghan doesn't understand that the popularity that she could enjoy in that brand has everything to do with royalty and very little to do with Meghan, and very little to do with Harry. She believes their branding, as well as being disrupted by pandemics and international politics, or overshadowed by royal family celebrations in the UK, is further muddled by the message sent by their titles. Royal fans could not help but notice that Prince Harry attended the Super Bowl without his wife Meghan Markle, instead opting for some family bonding with his cousin Eugenie. The A-lister event was won by the Los Angeles Rams in the early hours of Valentine's Day at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. But it was the Royals that dominated the chatter in some quarters, with one person suggesting that Meghan let Harry off the leash for the evening and another claiming Meghan had orchestrated her absence to generate reaction. Taking to Twitter, the woman, called Karen, said, Harry at the Super Bowl with Eugenie and not Meghan. Was he let of the leash? Is he realizing that life is not what it should? Unusual to see him without Megs. Whilst the comments that he was let off the leash may be theorizing, it is indeed unusual to see Harry without Meghan. It is not as if they do such a big thing without any thoughts behind it, another person added. The prince, who now lives in the US, took in the game between Los Angeles Rams and Cincinnati Bengals with his younger cousin, Prince Andrew's daughter, Eugenie, 31. The pair were snapped taking in the eagerly anticipated halftime show featuring Dr. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar and surprise guest 50 Cent. It is well documented that the pair are close, and that Meghan and Eugenie were friends even before the Sussexes got together.